Rishi Sunak born 12 May, 1980, is a British politician who has served as Prime Minister of the United Kingdom and leader of the Conservative Party since 2022. The first British Asian Prime Minister, he previously held two cabinet positions under Boris Johnson, latterly as Chancellor of the Exchequer from 2020 to 2022. Sunak has been Member of Parliament, MP, for Richmond, Yorks, since 2015. Sunak was born in Southampton to parents of Indian descent who immigrated to Britain from East Africa in the 1960s. He was educated at Winchester College, studied philosophy, politics and economics at Lincoln College, Oxford, and earned an MBA from Stanford University in California as a Fulbright Scholar. During his time at Oxford University, Sunak undertook an internship at Conservative Central Office and joined the Conservative Party. After graduating, Sunak worked for Goldman Sachs and later as a partner at the hedge fund firms The Children's Investment Fund Management and Thaleem Partners. Sunak was elected to the House of Commons for Richmond in North Yorkshire at the 2015 general election. As a backbencher, Sunak supported the successful campaign for Brexit in the 2016 European Union membership referendum. Following the 2017 general election, Sunak was appointed to a junior ministerial position in Theresa May's second government as Parliamentary Undersecretary of State for Local Government in the 2018 cabinet reshuffle. He voted three times in favour of May's Brexit withdrawal agreement, which was rejected by Parliament three times, leading to May announcing her resignation. During the 2019 Conservative Party leadership election, Sunak supported Johnson's successful bid to succeed May as Conservative leader and Prime Minister after which Johnson appointed Sunak as Chief Secretary to the Treasury in July 2019. Following the 2019 general election, Johnson promoted Sunak to Chancellor of the Exchequer in the 2020 cabinet reshuffle after the resignation of Sajid Javid. During his time in the position, Sunak was prominent in the government's financial response to the COVID-19 pandemic and its economic impact, including the coronavirus job retention and eat-out-to-help-out schemes. He was also involved in the government's response to the cost of living crisis, UK energy supply crisis, and global energy crisis. Sunak resigned as Chancellor in July 2022 amid a government crisis that culminated in Johnson's resignation. Sunak stood in the July-September Conservative Party leadership election to succeed Johnson. He had received the most votes in each of the series of MP votes, but lost the members' vote to Foreign Secretary Liz Truss. After spending the duration of Truss's premiership on the backbenches, Sunak was elected unopposed in the October 2022 Conservative Party leadership election to succeed Truss, who resigned amid another government crisis. At 42, he became the youngest Prime Minister since Robert Jenkinson, second Earl of Liverpool in 1812. Sunak took office amid the cost of living crisis and energy supply crisis that began during his chancellorship, as well as amid industrial disputes and strikes. He has authorized foreign aid and weapons shipments to Ukraine in response to the Russian invasion of the country. Early Life and Education, 1980-2001 Sunak was born on 12 May, 1980 in Southampton General Hospital in Southampton, Hampshire, to East African-born Hindu parents of Indian Punjabi descent, Yashvir and Usha Sunak. He attended Stroud School, a preparatory school in Romsey, and later studied at Winchester College as a day boy, becoming head boy of the college. He worked as a waiter in a curry house in Southampton during his summer holidays. He read philosophy, politics and economics at Lincoln College, Oxford, graduating with a first in 2001. During his time at university, he undertook an internship at Conservative Campaign Headquarters and joined the Conservative Party. In 2006, Sunak earned a Master of Business Administration degree from Stanford University as a Fulbright Scholar. While at Stanford, he met his future wife Aksata Murthy, the daughter of Indian billionaire N. Anoroyan Amathi of Infosys. Sunak's paternal grandfather was from Gujranwala, in present-day Pakistan, while his maternal grandfather was from Ludhina, in present-day India, both cities at the time were in Punjab province, British India. His grandparents migrated to East Africa, and then to the United Kingdom in the 1960s. His father, Yashvir Sunak, 
was born and raised in the colony and protectorate of Kenya, present-day Kenya, and is a general practitioner in the National Health Service. His mother, Usha Sunak, born in Tanganyika, which later became part of Tanzania, was a pharmacist and owned the Sunak Pharmacy in Southampton between 1995 and 2014, and has a degree from Aston University. Sunak is the eldest of three siblings. His brother, Sanjay, born 1982, is a psychologist and his sister, Raki Williams, born 1985, works in New York as Chief of Strategy and Planning at the United Nations Global Fund for Education in Emergencies. Career Business Career, 2001-2015 Sunak worked as an analyst for the investment bank Goldman Sachs between 2001 and 2004. He then worked for hedge fund management firm The Children's Investment Fund Management, becoming a partner in September 2006. He left in November 2009 to join former colleagues in California at a new hedge fund firm, Feline Partners, which launched in October 2010 with $700 million under management, equivalent to $939 million in 2022. At both hedge funds, his boss was Patrick de Gorse. Sunak was also a director of the investment firm Catamaran Ventures, owned by his father-in-law, the Indian businessman N. R. Narayana Mathi of Infosys, between 2013 and 2015. Backbencher, 2015-2018. Official Portrait, 2017. Sunak was selected as the conservative candidate for Richmond, Yorks, in October 2014, defeating among others Wendy Morton who became the MP for Aldridge Brown Hills. The seat was previously held by William Haig, a former leader of the party who had served in various cabinet positions under David Cameron and has been represented by a member of the party for over a century. In the same year Sunak was head of the Black and Minority Ethnic, BME, research unit of the conservative think tank Policy Exchange, for which he co-wrote a report on BME communities in the UK. He was elected as MP for the constituency at the 2015 general election with a majority of 19,550, 36.2%. During the 2015-2017 Parliament he was a member of the Environment, Food and Rural Affairs Select Committee. Sunak supported the successful campaign for the UK to leave the European Union in the June 2016 European Union membership referendum. That year, he wrote a report for the Centre for Policy Studies, a Thatcherite think tank, supporting the establishment of free ports after Brexit, and the following year wrote a report advocating the creation of a retail bond market for small and medium-sized enterprises. Following Cameron's resignation, Sunak endorsed Michael Gove in the 2016 Conservative Party leadership election, and later endorsed successful candidate Theresa May after Gove was eliminated in the second round of voting. Sunak was re-elected at the 2017 general election with an increased majority of 23,108, 40.5%. In the same year, Sunak wrote a paper for Policy Exchange on the importance and fragility of the UK's undersea infrastructure. Sunak was re-elected at the 2019 general election with an increased majority of 27,210, 47.2%. Local Government Undersecretary, 2018-2019. Sunak was appointed to a junior ministerial position in May's second government as Parliamentary Undersecretary of State for Local Government in the 2018 Cabinet reshuffle. Sunak voted for May's Brexit withdrawal agreement on all three occasions, and voted against a second referendum on any withdrawal agreement. May's withdrawal agreement was rejected by Parliament three times, leading to May announcing her resignation in May 2019. Sunak supported Boris Johnson in the 2019 Conservative Party leadership election and co-wrote an article with fellow MPs Robert Jenrick and Oliver Dowden to advocate for Johnson during the campaign in June. Chief Secretary to the Treasury, 2019-2020 Following Johnson's appointment as Conservative leader and Prime Minister, Sunak was appointed Chief Secretary to the Treasury, serving under Chancellor Sajid Javid. He became a member of the Privy Council the next day. During the 2019 general election, Sunak represented the Conservatives in the BBC's and ITV's seven-way election debates. Chancellor of the Exchequer, 2020-2022 
On 13 February, Sunak was promoted to Chancellor as part of the 2020 cabinet reshuffle, after Javid had resigned that day following a meeting with Johnson. COVID-19 pandemic. On 17 March, 2020, amid the COVID-19 pandemic and its economic impact, Sunak became prominent in the government's response. He introduced a programme providing £330 billion in emergency support for businesses, as well as a furlough scheme for employees. This was the first time a British government had created such an employee retention scheme. The scheme was introduced on 20 March, 2020 as providing grants to employers to pay 80% of a staff wage and employment costs each month, up to a total of £2,500 per person per month. The cost was estimated at £14 billion a month to run. The coronavirus job retention scheme initially ran for three months and was backdated to the 1st of March. Following a three-week extension of the countrywide lockdown the scheme was extended by Sunak until the end of June 2020. At the end of May, Sunak extended the scheme until the end of October 2020. The decision to extend the job retention scheme was made to avoid or defer mass redundancies, company bankruptcies, and potential unemployment levels not seen since the 1930s. In July 2020, Sunak unveiled a plan for a further £30 billion of spending which included a stamp duty holiday, a cut to value-added tax, VAT, for the hospitality sector, a job retention bonus for employers and the Eat Out to Help Out scheme, aimed at supporting and creating jobs in the hospitality industry. The government subsidised food and soft drinks at participating cafes, pubs and restaurants at 50%, up to £10 per person. The offer was available from 3 to 31 August on Monday to Wednesday each week. In total, the scheme subsidised £849 million in meals. Some considered the scheme to be a success in boosting the hospitality industry, whilst others disagreed. A 2020 study found that the scheme contributed to a rise in COVID-19 infection, which Johnson acknowledged but the Treasury rejected. It was later said by the government's chief medical adviser Sir Patrick Val Lance during the UK COVID-19 inquiry that Sunak had not informed medical advisers of the scheme until it was announced, whereas written evidence from Sunak said that the scheme had been discussed with medical advisers, including Val Lance, and they had not objected. The Winter Economy Plan was delivered by Sunak on 24 September, 2020. The purpose of the statement was to announce measures aimed at further helping to promote economic recovery following the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. The plan aimed to further promote economic recovery while preserving jobs and businesses which were considered viable. After a second lockdown in England on 31 October, 2020, the programme was extended several times, until 30 September, 2021. Sunak said he had opposed recommendations by government medical advisers for a second circuit breaker lockdown in September 2020 due to the potential impact on jobs and the economy. Then, Health Secretary Matt Hancock said that Sunak had put Boris Johnson under enormous pressure not to introduce further restrictions during this time although Sunak maintained he had only advised the Prime Minister on economic matters in order to help him reach a decision. According to the diary of Chief Medical Advisor Sir Patrick Val Lance, he was told by Dominic Cummings, Boris Johnson's chief political adviser, that Sunak had argued to just let people die during an argument over imposing a second lockdown in October 2020. Sunak denied the let people die claim, pointing to the fact that Val Lance did not hear the phrase but merely claimed to have been told about it by Cummings. In October 2021, Sunak made his third and final budget statement, which included substantial spending promises related to science and education. The budget increased in work support through the universal credit system by increasing the work allowances by £500 a year, and reducing the post-tax deduction taper rate from 63% to 55%. £560 million of investment was announced for the levelling up white paper. Many of the announcements to be made in the budget were previewed before budget day drawing criticism and anger from the House of Commons. In response to the criticism, Sunak said the budget begins the work of preparing for a new economy.